Hello YouTubers, Chilios2222 here with a review of the British Army Survival Knife. That is the only thing I know this blade has. Um, not even sure the history of it. Maybe someone knows. But I have seen online that supposedly this was a, a British Army or Ministry of Defense knife. Pretty heavy duty blade uh, one of my one of my favorite blades you can see this blade gets a lot of use um, hasn't really sustained a lot of damage and it is just an absolute heavy-duty chopper the markings on it are JA 1993 and 1278214 and honestly I have no idea what that means I have seen these um, with Sheffield and you can see this is a full tang absolute beast of a, a blade really um, as far as sharpness goes if you're chopping or doing anything in the field with this knife it is super super heavy and heavily weighted end almost like I'd compare it to one of these guys, which is a really more of a chopping tool. So yeah, this is like your cold steel, cold steel Magnum Kukri machete made in South Africa. Interestingly enough, um, I use that a this blade a lot, the machete blade a lot. There we go. But that's your that's your machete blade right there. And you can see this for me has had heavy, heavy use. Pretty much use it, I, I don't want to say every day, but anytime I have a problem that needs solving outside. Plant problem, not a people problem. But it could definitely do that as well. I don't think these were particularly made for defense. They're more of a, it's more of a, just a work tool. And you can see that there. I'm noticing now that, uh, oh, that's just a spider web. I'm looking in here, that's just a, a spider web that's in there, interestingly enough. But yeah, this is my heavy duty outdoor tool that I use then you've got for size comparison this is your hammer you can see this hammer's had a lot of use and that's about the size of the blade right there blade plus the, the hilt but these are um, these are phenomenal knives and I would never ever get rid of this knife or consider getting rid of it uh, just due to its being so heavy duty you can see the the back of the blade there I believe that's called the spine but look how thick that is and compared to the machete I mean this isn't a top-of-the-line machete but you can see machete versus this knife so this this knife is absolutely built to be a beast and I think if Ministry of Defense in Britain did everything like this knife or made every every tool that they use like this knife uh, their stuff would be at the very very top because this thing is a beater. You can see those reinforcements on there. The handle. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that. Please like and subscribe if you like these type of videos. But that is the, the British Army MOD, I think they called it. Survival knife. And it did come, mine came with the sheath. 
nice leather sheath. I assume this is leather. And this is held up as well. And it's got a little reinforcement on top. So yeah, British, British Army knife. I wonder too if they use this type of knife for their other forces. It is very, very heavy. So carrying this on your belt, I mean, you feel, to me this feels like it's a good two pounds of weight. I mean, about the, the heft of like a 1911, but an absolutely heavy duty knife. I've seen this in black too. I think black, uh, black handle. And this is wood, this piece right here, as far as I can tell. Um, and I think they also have a, like a polymer. I want to say polymer or some other type of material that they're using. And I've seen those in black and with more of a, like a black finish on this blade. Um, this blade kind of had like a gray, like a dull gray finish. You can see I've kind of worn a good amount of that off. But um, yeah, as far as a tool, this is a fantastic blade. If you can find these out there, I've, I've been looking around for them recently. Um, I had just gotten one of these new for a friend as a gift uh, because I think it's, if you like the outdoors, it's an awesome gift. And again, it's heavy, but it's gonna, it's gonna last you. This thing is literally, it's like three tools in one. It's a knife. It's pretty much due to its weight. It's a hammer, more or less. And it's pretty much a small machete. So when you put all that together, this is an awesome camping tool. Um, I can imagine in the military, if you're cutting sector stakes or doing anything, you know, working with sandbags or even like pounding stakes in with the side of this, using it, you know, as a, as a hammer to get your sector stakes in or building anything. This is just an, an awesome, awesome military tool. So I would highly recommend that. Thank you guys. Chilios 2222. Take care.